In this video, I'm going to go over the advanced skill of managing bullet points in Microsoft Word 2010. So I'm inside Microsoft Word 2010 and I've written a piece of text that says this is a list of tasks to complete. Now what I can do if I want to create some sort of tick sheet or a to-do list for students is I can actually use the bullets tool which is in the home tab here at the top. What I can do is if I insert the bullet using the bullets button you can see that the standard bullet point is a black circle. So if I have task 1 here, if I press enter it automatically inserts another bullet point on the line below. So I can write task 2, task 3, etc. However, these bullet points as black circles aren't really that helpful if I want to create a to-do list for the students. So what I can do is if I select these bullets and go back to the bullets uh, tool in the menu and click on the arrow next to it, I can go down to define new bullet and in the dialog window that appears, I can click on the symbol button, the bullet character symbol button. And as long as I choose the font symbol inside here, so again on this drop down list, it's basically all of the fonts that appear within Microsoft Word. So again, there's Arial, um, Times New Roman, etc. And the font that you actually want is called the symbol font. So once I've found the symbol font, if you scroll down, towards the bottom of the uh, symbol font options, you can see these little boxes. And if you click on one of those and press OK, instead of the black dots, it will insert these little boxes for you. So you can use these as tick boxes. Press OK again, and you can see that my black circles turn into tick boxes. And now if I press Enter again, type task 4, you can see that it's nice and easy to, to create some sort of to-do list for your students. So, in this video, I've gone over an advanced skill of managing bullet points inside Microsoft Word.